the money push. If a human chooses unethical behavior, they are responsible. But what if they choose that behavior because someone offered to pay them for the choice? Yes, they are the ones choosing to behave unethically, but the thought to do so and the motive are offered by another. So, who takes the blame? The one who initiated the idea and gave incentive, or the one who actually performs the unethical acts? The useless leaders think that they are blameless because it is the choice of their minions to do the actual dirty work. But if they had not stepped in with the concept and reward, the minions would not have done the unethical deeds. So the karma falls on all involved. All are equal partners in the blame department. The ethical liability belongs to all involved. Sitting in an ivory tower with plans and the money to motivate others to bring them to fruition does not exempt anyone from ethical liability. One might say that more blame falls on the one who pushes the first domino, who initiates the chain of events, but... The ones who choose to do the bidding of the initiators hold equal liability. It takes two to tango. In a world where there is no use of money in any form, trade, barter, work exchange, shells, beads, coins, metals, bills, or electronic bids, where all may live as richly as each might choose, there is little to entice others into doing unethical things. The power over others that money provides is gone. And the psychopaths, who think they're blameless because they did not personally do the things they planned, that they paid for, will have to do their dirty work personally. And unable to build empires where thousands can be commanded, their dirty work is extremely limited. They become nothing more than petty criminals if they choose unethical behavior. So many cannot conceive of a world where we do things not for money, but because we care, because we are paid in attention. A pay attention. Where we are paid in gratitude, love, respect, reputation, honor, bragging rights, self-satisfaction, and other social currencies. Where we receive kindnesses, caring, and community rather than having to plug our energy in so as to survive on our planet. Where innovation is not suppressed to retain profit slash control, but rather celebrated and deep thanks, appreciation, and fame are received. Where we may fulfill our potential rather than finding some way to plug our energy in, even if we hate it, to get tokens to put food on the table with. Why they think that any system of accounting for our energy is good is beyond me, because no matter what it is we are exchanging to survive with, psychopaths will find a way to control us with it. If we are trading and bartering, they will manage to control the water or seed or land or any other needed thing so as to have control. If we are using representational tokens from shells and beads, metals and such, on up to electronic bits, they will do anything to get the most. They will defraud. They will steal. They will kill if they see an advantage to get more. And when they have the most, they have the power to pay others to do their dirty work for them. They can make the money push. To say that using the survival needs of others to manipulate them removes the blame for what one initiated is quite absurd. So, how do we remove that archaic and dangerous tool called money? We add free energy. We have technology that draws on the electrogravitomagnetic field that pervades the universe, but it is hidden in black projects. They hide it, of course, 
They know the intimate link between money and energy, and they know free energy makes accounting for our energy pointless. They know that free energy will take away their tool to widespread power over others, that only charisma will get them anywhere, and that charisma alone will not move masses to do one's bidding. So we experiment with things and share the successes in free energy production openly and without patent. Patents give them notice, and they will buy out and bury the tech. If there is no sale, they will do other things, or pay others to do them. They will set up blackmail scenarios. They will threaten, ruin, and kill to keep free energy out of our hands. By giving the free energy work freely to humanity, you will earn the deepest thanks, appreciation, gratitude, and much fame and adoration. And in the long run, you will be paid abundantly as you too are freed from the artificial scarcity they create with their money. You, along with humanity, can live as richly as you choose, spending your time slash energy on what you love to do with no ties that bind your survival. With free energy, we can build a society of ethical sovereigns, where we protect one another from bullies, whether in costumes or not. Where we are free to do any ethical thing we choose, no longer worried about whether we can afford what we love to do. No longer will innovation be hidden. No longer will we slave at jobs we don't like, are bored with, or absolutely hate, just so we can afford to live. In fact, this planet belongs to all who are born here. But for centuries now, the psychopaths at the top have been holding our wealth in trust. We are, every one of us, multi-millionaires. But we have been made slaves to move our wealth up to the psychopaths at the top. And they use our wealth against us. Free energy will effectively return our access to our wealth to us, will give us the ability to live like the multi-millionaires we are. As I have said before, I am elderly, disabled, destitute, and homeless. My work has been to create the blueprint for a society of ethical sovereigns and to share awareness of what we can aggregately create, and how. Now it is on you to do what you can to bring in a better way. You can share awareness that we can be free. You can build the infrastructure I outline if you can. You can get free energy out if you are able. When we have built our glorious society ethical and free, it will be driven by solving problems ethically not by passing laws and enforcing them on others. For more, see my playlist on UToilet. When Odyssey slash library adds a playlist option, I will no longer send others to UToilet. Will you be a part of the aggregate that will construct vastly better for our children and descendants, for humanity on our planet? Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Solar, Shill, for humanity. Love, always. Humanity will win. <laughs>